Uh, I am Anuj, and I lead marketing at Xiaomi India. Uh, now let's get to where, why we are all here, the Redmi Note 6 Pro. Uh, now, Note series has always stood for one key thing. It has been the best all-round device available in the market across all price segments in the country. And this has happened for years. In fact, I was talking to a couple of fans out there, and I found people still using the Redmi Note 3. It's just such an incredible device. And that legacy has carried forward in each generation. Uh, incredible all-rounder. Uh, Manu also spoke about the fact that the Redmi Note 5 Pro was the best-selling dual-camera device in the country. We have taken things even further with the Redmi Note 6 Pro. As you can see, we've given it an incredible tagline, a quad-camera all-rounder. It is a Note, it is an all-rounder, and now it comes with four cameras. But not just that, a whole lot more. Let's talk about the cameras. Now, in Xiaomi, we have focused a lot on cameras, and we've come a long way. Uh, with the Redmi Note 6 Pro, we are bringing in our first quad camera setup to the country. And with the Note 6 Pro, it also takes things a lot further. Uh, it's not just a quad camera for the name of it, but it changes things significantly. Let's look at the primary camera and how we've changed this. Now, the primary camera actually is comprising of a 12 megapixel high performance sensor. Now, this captures all your key images. Along with that, there is a 5 megapixel depth sensor. From, why did I say high performance sensor? Because when you take pictures like this one, you get incredible details. But there's another segment that we've been focusing on at Xiaomi, which is to improve your overall photography experience when the light conditions are a bit more challenging. Now, there are a lot of changes that we've done to the camera. However, I'd like to take your focus to a few of them uh, from a hardware perspective. Number one is, for the first time on the Note series, you're using a wider f1.9 aperture. Now, with this aperture, what we've also changed is the camera sensor itself. Now, the camera sensor here has a massive 1.4 micron pixel size. Now, how does it work together? How does it change your overall camera experience? With the Note 6 Pro, not only with a wider aperture, you are able to capture a lot more light. In fact, this light is a lot more compared to the best-selling dual camera in the country, which is the Redmi Note 5 Pro. But with a larger pixel, uh, a 1.4 micron pixel uh, size, incidentally, can obviously effectively process about 25% more light. Uh, so you get more light coming in, and your sensor can also process this light better giving you incredible uh, photographs in low-light conditions. Let's take a look at this particular shot. Now, this is a really good shot. Of course, it has to be because it's clicked by the Note 5 Pro. Uh, you get all the detailing. Uh, none of the edges of the sign are blurred out. Uh, the entire uh, colors are coming out accurately. Now, what happens if you've got a wider aperture and a larger pixel size? And both of them working together, along with Xiaomi's camera software, you get something like this with the Note 6 Pro. Now, the same scene shot, you get a whole lot more detail. What you didn't realize with the first one is this entire sign sits on this acrylic board. You can also see the rivets at the back. You can see the wiring. It's just able to process that light so much more better. And of course, the reason we've done all of this is because our fans have really liked our cameras. And this is something that really matters when we're kind of pushing this to the next level. Uh, so that's the Note 6 Pro. With the new wider aperture, which is oh, f1.9, and also importantly, a 1.4 micron large pixels, you are able to get clearer and sharper low-light photographs than ever before, making this one of the best cameras that you can buy across segments. <clears throat> one more aspect which is quite interesting when it comes to low-light photography, and that's how quickly can you focus. We have not left that out. With the Note 6 Pro, you also get faster focusing. Uh, of course, uh, this is something that we spoke about with the Note 4 as well, and then the Note 5, is we introduced something called PDAF, or phase detection autofocus. Now, how that works is roughly about 5% of your pixels 
are actively finding this focus and helping you focus faster on objects. Uh, the reason you need a faster focus is because you want to eliminate those blurry photographs coming in. When you're trying to take a capture, say, for example, somebody is blowing out a birthday cake, right? it's, it's a hard uh, image to capture. And of course, you just get that one moment. Imagine that that's a blurry image. Uh, so Note 5 Pro, obviously, you saw, is an incredible camera. But with the Note 6 Pro, we are taking this to a whole new level. What you get is dual pixel autofocus. That means all 100% of the pixels are helping you find this focus. Uh, the re net result is a much, much faster focusing speed for all your photographs, especially when it comes to challenging light conditions. Let's take a look at how, uh, how much difference it makes when you're looking at this focusing speed. So on your left is the Redmi Note 5 Pro, and this one is the Note 6 Pro. In all conditions, whether it's color or a little more detailed one, the Note 6 Pro focuses a lot faster than the Note 5 Pro. So essentially what we've done is we've taken the best camera available in this segment and made it a whole lot better. So dual pixel autofocus. Now this obviously started with DSLRs and we brought it down to uh, the segment for the first time. We also have kept electronic image stabilization. Now this is something, again, a lot of me fans were asking us for. Uh, you guys were taking a lot of videos. And these videos, uh, you, with the EIS, you're able to kind of reduce the overall jitters, the shake that comes from these videos, making them a lot more shareable across channels. Uh, now, this is some part of you know, hardware and changes that we've got. Uh, however, we decided to take the Note cameras to a next level altogether. For the first time ever on the Redmi Note, we've got AI scene detection. Uh, now, why is this such a big deal? All of us, almost everyone, when we take a picture, we end up editing. So we would go to that picture, try and play around with the contrast, or maybe try and change the overall saturation levels. But here's the harsh reality. Only 2% actually know what they're doing. The remaining 98, me included, have no idea how to get the best possible image out. And this is where our R&D team, our camera R&D team, has worked really hard, working through thousands and thousands of images for each scene to, get, to develop a really powerful learning algorithm. And it detects different scenes and gives you the best possible image. Uh, scenes like you know, your everyday city or architecture, or for mat that matter, if you're taking a picture of even a document, how is that text a lot sharper? Uh, sunrise or grass, how do the leaves kind of stand out a bit more? Of course, uh, the first image that you saw of uh, the, the image in Indonesia, where the leaves were really standing out, you could see some of that AI power coming to the fore. Uh, even the people uh, in our office in Bangalore have worked on certain India-specific uh, scenes. For example, with the wedding season on, right, how does the Redmi Note 6 Pro camera highlight the jewelry better on the bride? Right? All of these things add up to make a really great camera. Let's look at the AI scene detection in action. Now, this is an incredible shot, of course. And it's a landscape. You can see the sea. You can see this, these mountains going up. You can see a beautiful sky. Uh, the, the AI scene detection understands this, enhances the overall color of the ocean. So it's, it's bluer. Uh, the contrast ratio on the land has been increased. And even if you look at the horizon, which you would normally miss out, has been dehazed. So you can see the horizon a lot more clearer. Overall, a much better picture. Before, or with it, without AI, and with AI. It makes a whole lot of difference in terms of the camera images the Note 6 Pro is able to capture. And finally, what are the memories that you are carrying with you? So a wider f1.9 aperture with a massive 1.4 micron pixel size. Dual pixel autofocus for incredibly fast focus electronic image stabilization, and now AI scene detection. All of them work together to give you a, a flagship level AI dual camera experience. But it is a dual camera. And the reason we have dual cameras is because we want better portraits. And with, I mean, I'm just jumping the gun here, but with the Note 6 Pro, it's just taking it to the next level altogether. 
Of course, what you know about Xiaomi's portrait mode is it works really, really well. We've got our own AI semantic segmentation, which is able to differentiate the subject from the background and really get you those beautiful blurs. Uh, for example, if I compare this with, a, say, a flagship device like the S9 Plus, uh, what you can see is not only are the details on the subject a lot more, but the overall edge detection is far superior. Uh, the hair color is a lot more accurate, but even the edge that you see on the, the hair side or even the shoulder here makes a lot more difference. Uh, but not just that, it's also the depth information and how you use it. The overall depth information here on the Redmi Note 6 Pro is a lot more than what you get on the S9 Plus. With the Note 6 Pro, we are taking portrait photography to the next level altogether. Uh, that we are calling AI Portrait 2.0. Now, again, you've got two cameras. What are those two cameras doing? Are you using that to the maximum? Uh, with AI Portrait 2.0, we think we are. What you get is you get adjustable bokeh. You get studio lighting and light trails. Let me talk about each of these and why they're important. Adjustable bokeh. Now, typically, this is found on flagships. In fact, Apple recently announced uh, their latest flagship, and they really highlighted this feature. Of course, in Xiaomi, we believe that innovation is for everyone, and hence we are getting it to the Note series. What you do is, of course, you get an incredible portrait shot with the Note 6 Pro. But now, the power goes back to the user where you can decide how much bokeh you want to apply. All you need to do is go to the gallery, and you see the the portrait icon up top, click on this, and then after that, you get that control. So the amount of bokeh you want to apply is with you. So that's one. Number two, we've added studio lighting. Again, something that you see on flagships. Uh, how studio lighting works is, again, with our semantic segmentation, we're able to understand where the subject is remove the background, and give you this really beautiful, dramatic shot. Uh, not just that, we've gone a step further, and we let you do various customizations, different effects. So you've got a rainbow effect coming in. You've got cinematic effect, again, really dramatic. You've got a blinds effect. And there are total six of this. So six different uh, portrait effects coming in on the Note 6 Pro. I don't know, it's a 6x six, six thing. Uh, the next one that I want to talk about is also uh, really significant for this segment, which is light trails. Uh, now, this is coming for the first time on the Note series, and this is something that was very close to our heart. Uh, so that's why what we did was to shoot light trails, we got the best model that we could find. Uh, an incredible handsome man uh, introducing Commander Galsasi Bro. Uh, of course, what you can see is uh, those lights at the back. Now, what you can do is apply effects like this. So this is a swirl effect, which is dynamic. Not just this, you've got six different dynamic bokeh effects. For example, the light circles or diamonds. And when Rohit is with me fans, the, to capture his mood, hearts. So what you do get is, for the first time ever, you get dynamic bokeh as well on the Note 6 Pro. When we compare uh, the portraiture on the Note 6 Pro with some of the flagships out there, nobody offers you this level of control. Right? There are people who offer portrait mode, of course. There are some people who have adjustable bokeh, uh, but none of them offer you light trails, studio lighting, AI scene detection, all in one complete all-round package. It's just an overall incredible dual camera setup. So to sum it up, uh, flagship level AI rear dual camera, you got an uh, incredible 12 megapixel uh, plus a 5 megapixel uh, depth sensor. It has dual pixel autofocus. It has electronic image stabilization. You get better low light photography thanks to the wider aperture and the larger pixel size. You got AI scene detection coming in uh, and recognizes 32 categories. And of course, what we just saw, 
uh, really dramatic, a really cool AI portrait tool auto, where you can control your bokeh, you can have uh, light trails, and really dramatic uh, studio lighting as well. But we did say quad camera, so let me talk about the two cameras up front. Now, these are also really cool, where you've got a 20 megapixel primary camera, and this is clubbed with a 2 megapixel. Uh, what we did was we tried to do a, compare, a comparative shot. Uh, unfortunately, we had to kind of look at anything else which had two cameras in the front, so that was fair to others, right? Uh, so the closest one we could find was the Samsung A8 Plus. Now, this one is a 28,000 rupee device, but it does have a dual camera in the front. Uh, the, the results, actually, we had to go back time and again to check if they were actually coming in from the camera, because there's a whole lot of difference that you see. Uh, if you can see the overall blur level, the, the bokeh that comes at the back, the edge detection is the next level with the Note 6 Pro. The 20 megapixel also comes with uh, a super pixel technology, where it bins four pixels together to form an effective size of a 1.8 micron massive pixel size. So essentially, in low light condition, it helps you take in a lot more light and give you better low light selfies like this one. Again, uh, a great low light selfie. Uh, she is still in focus. Uh, you can see everything clearly. And of course, the beautiful bokeh, uh, especially with those lights at the back. It looks really cool. We have in the front camera, kept AI Beautify, which detects uh, your overall skin, uh, analyzes that, and digitally applies kind of a makeup. Uh, obviously, it does a whole bunch of things, but we'll not go into that, because there's something even better. We've added AI scene detection to the front camera, uh, not just the back, but the front camera also gets AI scene detection for the first time ever. And uh, this one can detect up to 12 categories. So even from a front camera perspective, what you're getting is a flagship level front dual camera. You get 20 megapixel primary uh, with super pixel technology. You get a 2 megapixel depth sensor. You get real time portrait preview. You get AI portrait selfie. AI Beautify and AI Scene Detection, some of that working together as we just saw in the last slide. So from an overall camera perspective, not just rear or front, but the four cameras working together, so flagship level quad cameras, what you are getting is a 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel rear. You get great low light photography with a wider aperture, larger pixel size. AI enhancements, AI scene detection, and of course, the incredible AI portrait coming in for the first time. In the front as well, you get a 20 megapixel camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor with super pixel technology. You get AI portrait selfie along with real time preview and scene detection in the front. Again, a new one. So a whole lot of things happening here on the camera, giving it almost a, a flagship level quad camera experience. Now let's move on to the next part, performance. Now, the Redmi Note 6 Pro comes with this incredible Snapdragon 636. Because when we are looking in for what processor goes into a device, we are looking primarily at three things. Of course, there are a whole bunch of other variables. Is it able to run all apps and all the latest games smoothly? Right? Does it have great thermal performance? And does it provide high power efficiency? And the answer is an incredible yes. A Snapdragon 636 is a proven chipset. Uh, we worked on it. Uh, I think uh, it's been about 10 months since we, we introduced it uh, to the world with a global debut in uh, the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Uh, not only have we understood this processor better, but we've had a chance to work with it, further refine it. And you will see how it kind of improves a few things. The Note 6 Pro will come with up to 6 gigs of DDR4X RAM. Now, this is the fastest RAM available for phones in the market. And like I was talking about optimizations, Note 6 Pro is capable of launching apps almost 30% faster. And how this happens is thanks to optimizations that are coming in on MIUI 10. Yes, this will be the first Xiaomi device in India to ship with MIUI 10 on day one. Uh, but not just faster app launches, I also want to talk about a whole bunch of other optimizations that we've done. 
Uh, there are more than about 20, but let's talk about dynamic resource allocation. Now, with the Node6 Pro, uh, the system automatically detects which apps you're using, where it needs to divert more system resources so that you get a more smoother experience. Not just that, but if you look at deep sleep recovery, now this is something that actually goes into battery management, uh, where when your phone is in standby, when you're not using it, it goes into kind of a deeper sleep, hence kind of saving your battery life. But with MIUI 10 on the Note 6 Pro, the moment you power on the device and go into an app, it's able to recover a lot faster, and hence you do not feel those lags. You know those lags when come in when you first start using a particular device after it's been lying around for like an hour or two hours. Now with Note 6 Pro and MIUI 10, that will not happen. So overall with the Note 6 Pro, you get an all-round balanced experience. You get the Snapdragon 636, which has been proven time and again. Uh, the LPDDR4X RAM and system optimizations thanks to MIUI 10. A few other things. The Note 6 Pro is dual SIM, dual volt -E. On the Note 6 Pro, it has something that we are calling Wi-Fi pass-through. If you are connected to a Wi-Fi which has an internet connectivity, it will take that internet connectivity and almost act like a repeater where you can connect multiple devices. Right? So with one particular login, you can have almost your entire set. I don't know, I'm sure most of you guys in this room carry at least about three or four devices. Uh, so all of these things are connected, your tablet, your laptop, other phones, anything that you need on that one single Wi-Fi connectivity. Of course, it won't be a note if it didn't have a big battery. So you get a 4,000 mAh, two-day battery life under heavy usage. Actually, it's, it's a little better than the 4,000 mAh that you've come to know of. Uh, when we did lab tests, we got some astounding results. For example, your 4G calling of up to 30 hours, or video playback of 15 hours, standby of 12 days, when the battery life has actually taken a step further. And to go even further, now it supports Quick Charge 3.0. Now, in the box, it'll come with a 10-watt charger, but you can head over to me.com and pick up a quick charger uh, at a really honest price. So the Note 6 Pro has a Snapdragon 636, a very proven, very capable processor with the Spectra 160 ISP, has Cryo 260 cores, comes with the fastest RAM, the DDR4X, uh, and you will get up to 6 gigs. You've got a noteworthy 4,000 mAh two-day battery life, you, we are supporting Quick Charge 3.0 for those people who uh, want that. Uh, you've got overall system optimizations, much faster response time with MIUI 10 out of the box. Now this is a massive 6.26 inch display. It is a full high definition plus uh, with a PPI of about 403. And what we, we did kind of retain here while we extended the screen is a notch. Now, why is this notch important? Because that, it does a whole bunch of things. You've got two cameras in the front, which we spoke about. You've got a redesigned earpiece with a changed metal mesh. You've got a notification light. You've got proximity and light sensors. All of that kind of compressed into that small area. Uh, so you get a larger screen, and it retains all the sensors, all the uh, things that you care about, adding a second camera to it. It is protected against your daily wear and tear with Corning Gorilla Glass. So you get a 19 to 9 full screen display with notch. You can turn that notch off if you want. Uh, you get a full high definition display. And we've also improved the overall sunlight legibility by taking this up to a whopping 500 nits. Now this is a much better, much more brighter display than any of our notes till date. Uh, it does come with an uh, improved curved design. It's an aluminum build. Uh, let's look at all the four colors together. So you've got the red, you've got rose gold, you've got the all-new blue, and of course the classic black. So if I look at what all has changed, uh, a whole bunch of improvements coming in over the best-selling uh, dual camera phone in the country, the Note 5 Pro. What you get is a dual front camera. You get a larger display. A uh, much larger display, actually, is a 6.26 inch. You get incredible primary camera. Uh, it's a 12 megapixel with a massive 1.4 micron pixel size. 
you get a wider aperture, you get much faster focusing with dual pixel autofocus, you get AI scene detection, you get AI portrait 2.0, and you saw what those AI portraits can do. You've got Quick Charge 3 supported. Of course, you have to buy the, the charger separately. You've got uh, the proven Snapdragon 636. We've got electronic image stabilization. We've got a noteworthy 4,000 mAh two-day battery life. We've got Corning Gorilla Glass display protection in the front. So for 4 GB, 64 GB, the price is going to be, OK, I can see a lot of cameras coming out. <laughs> uh, the price for 4 GB, 64 GB is going to be 13 triple nine. Hold on, hold on. We have a few more surprises for you guys. Uh, and the price for 6 GB, 64 GB is going to be 15 triple nine. So 14 triple nine and 15 triple nine for 4 GB, 64 GB, and 6 GB, 64, 64 GB variants. Every single Redmi Note 6 Pro that will be shipped in India will have an ultra slim case inside the box. And because it's coming from the company, you can be assured about quality and fit. Our partner, Reliance Geo, is giving a 2400 rupee instant cash back if you use a Geo SIM along with Redmi Note 6 Pro and plus 6 terabyte of data. Now, a few other interesting things about Redmi Note 6 Pro. Uh, we, of course, listen to all our Mi fans. Some of the feedback that you guys gave us is, can you make your products available soon, just after the launch? And can you make them available in enough quantity so that everybody can buy? So we are trying out something new, something different this time. This product, Redmi Note 6 Pro, you can buy tomorrow during the Black Friday sale, tomorrow, which is 23rd of November, across Mi.com, Flipkart, and Mi Home Stores. Uh, the first sale will be at 12 noon tomorrow. And we may also have a few other surprise sales that we will reveal tomorrow at 12 noon only. Now for tomorrow, only for tomorrow, for the Black Friday sale, we are going to have a special price. And that special price is going to be 1299 for the 4GB, 64GB variant. And for the 6GB, 64GB, the price is going to be 1499 only for tomorrow for the Black Friday sale. Not just this, our partner, AGFC Bank, will also give 500 rupee instant cash back Again, only for tomorrow, if you buy it using one of the HCFC Bank cards, which means effectively, for tomorrow's Black Friday sale, you can buy a 4GB, 64GB variant for 12,500 and a 6GB, 64GB variant for 14,500 rupees.